Hello everyone, I want to share with you one of the best price action trading techniques based solely on market structure and candlestick patterns. This technique will help you find high probability trading opportunities in the market. It's simple, effective, and very profitable. If you're interested in this topic, please show your support by liking and subscribing. This helps us create more videos like this in the future. Let's start with the first part of market structure, which is the trend. In this case, we're in a clear uptrend, indicating that buyers are in control. An uptrend is marked by higher highs and higher lows. These higher highs serve as important reference points in the market, known as resistance levels. When a resistance level is broken, it turns into support and becomes a significant reference point. When the market revisits this level, prices may react accordingly. Many traders build their strategies around these levels. However, for us, these aren't the primary structure levels we focus on. By adding specific criteria and conditions to these levels, they can transform into excellent setups for high probability trades. For example, when you align the previous structure level with the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level, it can significantly improve the accuracy of your trading strategy. Let me explain further. If you're in an uptrend, it means buyers are in control. The smartest trading decisions align with the market's direction. When the market breaks a resistance level, it often turns into support and becomes a key reference point for traders. When the market retraces and tests this level again, it may react strongly because many traders are watching it. Now, let's add more factors to strengthen this level. By using Fibonacci levels, we can identify that this level aligns with the 61.8 Fibonacci level, also known as the golden ratio. This Fibonacci level is closely watched by major banks and financial institutions. What makes this level powerful is that it was a previous resistance turned support and now holds the golden ratio, making it a significant point of interest for traders and institutions alike. Let me show you how to spot a major structure level. Picture a situation where the market moves like the example shown, something we see often in daily trading. This specific level is what we call a major structure level. Why is it important? Because it's been rejected multiple times, acting as both support and resistance. Plus, it's been respected by the market recently. When we consider all these factors together, we can pinpoint this level as a major structure point. These major structure levels are key because they offer highly accurate trading chances. They're like signposts for finding the best entry points in the market. Here are three key characteristics of a major structure level. It has been rejected several times, it has acted as both support and resistance, and it was recently respected. Now that you understand what a trend is and what a major structure level looks like, let's use this knowledge to find high probability entries. Take a look at this chart. You can clearly see a major structure level here. It's been rejected multiple times, has acted as both support and resistance, and was recently respected. When the market reaches this level, we can prepare for a potential entry. Once the market reaches this level, switch to a lower time frame. Here's why. On the lower time frame, we can see a specific candlestick pattern forming when the price reaches this level again. To enter the trade, place your order at the close of that candle. Set your stop loss above and aim for the next level as your target. You might wonder how to switch between time frames. If you normally trade on the daily chart, switch to the hourly chart for this strategy. If you're trading on the 4 hours time frame, switch to the 30 minutes chart for these setups. This approach can help you find better entry points and manage your trades more effectively. Now, let me give you another example. You can clearly see a major structure level here. It's been rejected multiple times, has acted as both support and resistance, and was recently respected. Once the market reached this level again, we switch to the lower time frame. On the lower time frame, we had a great candlestick pattern that formed at this major structure level. To enter the trade, place your order at the close of that candle. Set your stop loss above and aim for the next level as your target. When using this simple and profitable trading strategy, it's crucial to follow two important rules. Only take trades with a higher potential reward compared to the risk taken, preferably with a two to one reward to risk ratio. Let me explain with an example. Suppose we identify a great trading opportunity. When setting your stop loss, calculate the number of pips you're risking. For instance, let's say it's 50 pips. In this case, your potential reward should be at least 100 pips. If the potential reward doesn't represent twice the risk taken, it's best to pass on that trade. George Soros famously said, 
It's not whether you're right or wrong that's important, but how much money you make when you're right, and how much you lose when you're wrong. This emphasizes the importance of maintaining a balanced risk-reward ratio in your trading approach. The second trading rule is to not risk more than 1% of your account per trade. It's essential to remember that there's no holy grail in trading. No strategy works perfectly every time. Avoid the temptation to go all in on a trade just because it seems 100% profitable. Doing so risks your entire trading account. By limiting your risk to only 1% of your trading account per trade, you protect your capital. When combined with the reward to risk ratio rule, this approach helps grow your account steadily while managing risk effectively. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please click the like and subscribe buttons. Your support helps us make more videos like this. Wishing you success in your future trades. See you in the next episode.